Good morning and uh, welcome to my new vlog. Yeah, I know it's technically not morning, it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon, but I woke up today with a tremendous headache and I had a tremendous headache uh, yesterday also. So I was just so tired today. So after lunch, I decided to just go to sleep and slept for a couple of hours now. But anyway, this vlog is going to be probably a long one, a couple of days long, because I have four days off. And uh, even though I don't have a great day today, I think I need to go down to the city center and do something, maybe test out my new camera, my new iPhone 15 Pro Max, but I also need to buy a charger for that phone. I can't just sit at home all day. I need to do something. I mean, it's just too boring to sit at home all day. I, I need to do something. And I am actually thinking of uh, buying a uh, pizza on my way home and just relax, take it easy. So of course it started to rain today and uh, smart me didn't bring my rain jacket with me i actually took it out of my bag because i thought it was not going to rain but uh, i got some things for my new iphone i got this uh, card holder and uh, also got this charger and i actually got some great pictures with this phone maybe this is why i have had such a headache today and yesterday because always when there is this kind of weather change i do get this kind of uh, headache and it completely messes my brain up and it's not good for my idiopathic intracranial hypertension i get such a headache and get so tired and actually i'm starting to get a headache now again it's actually pouring down right now and uh, yeah I know I said I wanted pizza but um, I decided against it because it's not really healthy and I really need to eat more healthy food especially with my uh, condition that I have uh, so uh, I'm going to make some uh, pasta I'm going to add some uh, garlic some uh, tomatoes bell pepper, some cashew nuts, and some cream, low fat cream, together with uh, some butter and some German uh, sausage, buckwurst, never tried it, first time. And I actually felt that I want to have something sweet tonight, so I'm going to make myself a uh, fruit salad. And also, I found this tea, some chai and matcha tea. Uh, I'm actually a coffee geek, but uh, I know a YouTuber that I'm watching. She is drinking a lot of chai and matcha tea, so I just wanted to try it. It's not the same brand because she lives in New York City, but wanted to try it for tonight. Can you believe what just happened? I dropped all of my fruit on the floor. It fell from the fridge and it was messy. I have to make a new fruit salad. God, I'm so pissed off and annoyed right now. So uh, I actually had some other plans for tonight, um, but they got canceled. And uh, this is a bit sensitive. So if you are sensitive, uh, skip ahead or uh, mute because uh, the plan was that my mom and dad was supposed to visit me tonight and today but uh, a couple of days ago 
my basically my mom works with refugees and she was at a cafe a couple of days ago and during that time one of the refugees i believe it was one of the refugees it could have been swedish people too but uh, anyway one of the persons there got a text message from her daughter saying that um yeah she was basically about to kill herself and you know she's only 15 years old what i know but uh, my mom had to support that uh, other person because you know how i can't mean i can't imagine how it feels if your daughter wants to kill yourself it must have been a tremendous stressful situation but anyway uh, they talked to the police they got the ambulance involved and uh, they found the girl alive but she was standing on a bridge in the town where my mom lives and uh, they took it to the hospital she got psychiatric care and she is still receiving psychiatric care so that's great but the, my mom had to support the family for the rest of the night and the day after and uh, she was just so really tired so she she and my dad decided not to come visit me and I completely agree with that because it's, th there are more things that are more important in life than visiting me. And also something else that uh, has happened in my neighborhood today is uh, uh, this is also dark and uh, it's been a dark day if I say the least because uh, I read the, on the newspaper online today that uh, they found a person dead in an apartment a couple of hundred meters away from where I live and they apparently immediately arrested a man for suspicion of a manslaughter or murder and something like and uh, and something like this never happens in my neighborhood it's a very quiet and peaceful neighborhood everyone knows each other and uh, it's basically families and uh, old people that lives here so it's a usual very quiet and peaceful neighborhood and yes yeah, something that i have noticed the couple of days is um, i believe that my pressure in my head is going up because uh, i have had a little bit more of headaches and uh, i have felt some uh, strange um, almost invisible shade that i can sometimes see uh, and my vision is uh, not blurry but um, the letters look funny sometimes and that is exactly how i felt before i got my diagnosis I haven't had any visual blackouts or something like that, so it's nothing too serious, but something is probably going on with my brain, and I believe that is a result of uh, me stopping my Diamox medication a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I went to the eye doctor last week, and uh, if you haven't checked that video, please look up here. But Anyway, they told me that um, it. Uh, sorry, this is a bit difficult to talk about, but um, they told me that it, it looks like the pressure around my optic nerves are going up, not in any like dangerous way, not not like dangerously fast and so, but. It looks like it has gone up since my last visit before summer and uh, they want me to come back in a couple of months to redo the checks and they sent a note to my neurologist so um, maybe I have to do one more lumbar puncture and measure the pressure 
I believe that is likely and that is probably likely to be done in a couple of weeks, months, maybe. I don't know. I haven't received any information from my neurologist yet. I'm just a bit frustrated because I'm 33 years old and I shouldn't have this health issue. I should be perfectly healthy. I should be a perfectly healthy 33 year old man, but uh, no. It sucks to be honest, it really does. Good morning, it's a Sunday morning now and uh, I just woke up. Late last uh, evening I got a message from my mom and they are going to visit me today. So, uh, time to get up, eat, eat some breakfast. They will probably be here in two or three hours. So, we will see what uh, we will do today. So, I have been home for a couple of hours now and uh, I had a super great day with visits from my parents and uh, we visited a museum here in town. And I actually never visited that museum, even though I've been living here for uh, almost seven years. But um, we also um, went out of town to visit a place called Norforce here. And the reason why we went there is because I really wanted to see some famous petroglyphs. And they are like 7,000 years old or something like that so it's just super cool what our ancestors have been doing at that time and i don't have a car so i felt like this is a great opportunity to to uh, go visit that place it is too far away to go by bike you can go by bike but it, then it's like a whole day adventure but uh, anyway I want to show you something also. I actually got some gifts from my parents. Hold on. So let's start with this. This is some homemade uh, chili sauce that my mom has uh, made for me. By the way, this sticker has nothing to do with the chili sauce. So. But it's a cool sticker. And also this is some homemade honey and they also gave me some uh, homegrown chili and yeah so probably understand my parents like to grow in their own vegetables and uh, stuff like that not so they can only eat vegetables that they have grown by themselves but uh, for fun hello it's a new day now, Monday. It's 12 o'clock and I really need to get some lunch now. I woke up at like nine o'clock this morning and I have been so lazy this morning. I have been in bed since nine o'clock and editing some videos and watching some YouTube videos and reading the news online and so on. But uh, I am really hungry now. So I'm heating some food in my oven and um, after that, I really need to go down to the city center because um, I need to buy some new shoes for work. And what I also need to do is pass by the opera because uh, a couple of months ago, me and my father bought some tickets for the opera for three shows this fall and uh, winter. But somehow I have managed to uh, delete my booking reference and uh, also my mail where the tickets were attached so i don't have the booking reference nor do i have the tickets and without them i cannot go to the opera of, of course so i need to pass by the opera and talk to them today maybe they can help me with just my uh, email and uh, name and telephone number and if they are not able to do that, I don't know what to do, to be honest. And I do know why this did happen, because uh, sometimes I just don't read my mail. I just notice the uh, the headline and 
don't read the mail pick and this summer I had like seriously like 5,000 unread mail in my mailbox so I just decided to delete them because most of that mail is just junk mail that I never open and read so I have probably got the ticket never opened the email and uh, with that email was also the booking reference and then it's just been deleted so I managed to solve the issue regarding my opera tickets and by the way the house that you see in front of me is actually the former firehouse of Umeå and I actually think it's now owned by uh, the Freemasons and yeah uh, I'm going to find my new shoes now and I know exactly where I am going because I know a place here in town that have great shoes it's actually a running store but I always buy my working shoes over there so I just bought these new shoes for work from New Balance and uh, I really like those shoes what I like about these shoes is uh, they got this like thick sole here at the bottom at the shoe which gives me a lot of support and I really like that when I am standing or walking for long periods of time as I can do as an OR nurse. However, there is something I realized. Uh, I work in the OR as an OR nurse, so there's going to be a, there is a lot of blood and it's messy. So I didn't think when I chose the color, I chose white. But on the other hand, the seller also told me that this is, was the only color he had, so uh, what difference would it have made? I have to wash them often. It is Tuesday now and I just saved some of my plants for the upcoming frost. I am probably not going to save that tomato plant and uh, the strawberries and just replant in the spring or next summer. I don't know what this uh, flower is called in English and this is a tomato plant and as you can see they are not looking too great but uh, my plan is to let them grow and uh, then cut them to make them look more nice. And uh, this plant, I also don't know the name for that in English, but um, anyway, uh, that plant looked really, really nice outside. But um, when I took it out from the soil, it started to sort of break apart. So uh, I had to throw away some of uh, some of the plant. So my plan is the same with this one. It's, I'm going to let it grow more and then cut it so it looks nice. But anyway, I think this is going to be it for this vlog. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. It really helps me spreading knowledge about my illness and uh, I really, really appreciate it. So uh, see you in the next one. Bye.